Airman O'Malley is Air Force One fueled and ready to go to the Fish Open? Yes Mr. President. Air Force One is stocked with Miller Lite, Crown Royal, the Nasty Weed and a case of Noopy Lights. Very well O'Malley. I was talking to the one of the founding fathers of the Fish Open and he mentioned that most of the field thinks this will be a two-horse race. Josh Sparkus and David Keith and that illegal Hindu and his partner Chip are definitely the favorites in this year's tournament. But do not count out the other teams. You make an excellent point Mr. President. But don't rule out Watson and Fish. They are practically related and both know how to lead underdog teams to victory. Mammo and Hunt are another team to watch for. Both are very competitive and well known throughout their communities. Mamma for Mish and Bo for Brayman could call in connections to win this year. Cave and Blasco are another team that could find a way to backdoor their way to victory, no pun intended. The Branch Boys, Betzer and Simonowski, have the confidence needed to plow their way to a W. Especially if they survive that hellhole of a neighborhood. Sammy Dly and Vico have the consistency to pull off the major upset. Plus, have you ever been to Club Vico? I have, but I didn't realize that it was a gay bar. All the dudes were sitting on non upside down bar stools. Ha ha ha, that was a good one. Let's not get sidetracked. There is one union guy in this tournament that I have to meet. Jeff Garner drives an 88 red pickup truck packed full of Natty lights and sleeve loose shirts. He is paired with Kevin Cousins. Rumor has it that Cousins is taking the private jet. Paired together they could take this field by surprise. What about this white character from Fort Wayne? Does he have game? Brian White has game and is coming off a year of marriage. No more pussy for him has to help his golf game. And his part Brian Keith is as steady as they come. He will drink. Corona and smoke the curly cigarettes and still shoot even par. This team is scary to think about. And finally, there is Burcheski and Davy Jones. The guy from the monkeys? O'Malley, you're such a demos. Davy Jones spent the last two years wrestling bears in Upper Michigan. When he wasn't wrestling, he was smoking and playing golf. He is prime for this year's tournament. Burcheski has finally ditched the porn stash and is ready to finally get his name printed on the trophy. Look for this team to be near the top at the end. Okay, enough about the fish open. I just got a text to meet up with Vinko and Club Vinko. YMCA is on the turntable waiting for us. See everyone at the fish open. Remember, vote Mamo in November.